Hey there! In this video, we're going to explore the derivative of matrix operations, specifically looking at linear and quadratic forms. Let's start by recalling some familiar scalar calculus. If we take the derivative with respect to x of the function k times x, where k is a constant, we simply get k. Similarly, if we differentiate k times x squared, we get 2k times x. These are fundamental results that have elegant analogs in matrix calculus, which we'll see shortly. Now, consider the matrix vector product A times X. Here, A is a 2 by 2 matrix and X is a vector. If matrix A has entries 1, 2, 3, 4 and vector X has components X1 and X2, the product results in a system of linear expressions. The first component is x1 plus 2x2 and the second is 3x1 plus 4x2. We can view this as two separate functions, f1 and f2. The derivative of this vector valued function is defined by the Jacobian matrix, which contains all partial derivatives. We calculate the partial derivative of f1 with respect to x1 and x2 and do the same for f2. For f1, the derivative with respect to x1 is 1 and with respect to x2 is 2. For f2, we get 3 and 4 respectively. Arranging these in a matrix, we recover exactly our original matrix A. This gives us our first key result. The derivative of Ax with respect to x is simply A. Next, let's look at a slightly more complex function, the quadratic form defined by x transpose ax. This function takes a vector and returns a single scalar value. For this derivation, we will assume A is a symmetric matrix, meaning the off-diagonal elements are equal. Expanding this expression using a general symmetric matrix A and vector x, we obtain a polynomial, a times x 1 squared plus 2b times x 1 x 2 plus c times x 2 squared. To find the derivative with respect to the vector x, we calculate the gradient, which consists of the partial derivatives with respect to x1 and x2. Differentiating with respect to x1, we get 2ax1 plus 2bx2. Differentiating with respect to x2, we get 2bx1 plus 2cx2. Notice that we can factor out a 2, and the remaining terms can be rewritten as the matrix A multiplied by the vector x. This leads us to our second key result. The derivative of the quadratic form x transpose ax is 2ax. This is the matrix analog to the scalar derivative of kx squared being to kx. To summarize, we have seen how matrix calculus operations mirror scalar calculus. The linear map ax derives to a just as kx derives to k. The quadratic form x transpose a x derives to 2ax just as kx squared derives to 2kx. These patterns provide a powerful intuition for working with higher dimensional data in machine learning and optimization. And that basically wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this explanation helpful, give it a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe to stay up to date with everything I post on this channel. See you in the next one. Bye bye.